Costa Mesa today features a metro skyline and boasts world-class dining and entertainment. But during the early 20th century, the area was a fledgling community known as Goat Hill. In 1908, Walter Osmond opened the first store in the city. The two-story building on Newport Boulevard served as a general store and post office, with the Osmonds' living quarters upstairs. A devastating fire raised the original building in 1917, and a new store was promptly erected, soon to be followed by a handful of other businesses along the burgeoning boulevard. It's been almost a century since the first businesses opened their doors. While they all have closed, they are not forgotten. And thanks to the gracious funding from the Historical Preservation Committee, Costa Mesa's early businesses have been memorialized in the concrete pathway of Old Town Newport Boulevard. 20 markers spanning the area between Broadway and 18th Street indicate where the businesses of yesteryear once stood. When I was a member of the Historical Preservation Committee and we were looking for some projects, I suggested researching the early businesses and putting in some markers. It was kind of just serendipitous because we finished this project at the same time that the city was refurbishing this part of Newport. So we were able to piggyback and uh, install the markers in time for the dedication and be a part of that. Simple and sturdy in design, each brass marker includes a header, the Costa Mesa City logo, the location's historical business, and an approximate founding year. While most markers indicate the first stores along Newport Boulevard, some are reserved for businesses that help foster Costa Mesa's early community. One such establishment was Pink's Drugstore. The location of 1820 Newport Boulevard always functioned as a pharmacy, but the property truly became a Costa Mesa hallmark under its third owner, a devoted city leader who operated the store for 46 years. It was such a long uh, established business, very popular store, traditional drugstore, soda fountain, candy counter, uh, the owner, Alvin Pinkley, was a big part of the community. You know, it was a gathering place. The kids could come and buy their Coke and look at the comic books. They didn't have to buy them. Their parents were in there getting prescriptions or everything they needed. It was a very, you know, a real gathering place for the community. I think of early Costa Mesa all together was what a, a small town community it was. Everybody knew everybody, everybody was willing to help everybody, and Pink's was just the epitome of that. Alvin Pinkley served on the water board, the school board, and acted as Costa Mesa's fifth mayor. But like any vibrant community, ordinary citizens were just as important contributors to the city's early economy. From growers selling fresh produce at the Wayside Market to Bank of Balboa tellers helping open savings accounts with just $1 deposits. And who could forget the 75 cent haircuts offered at Braddy's Barbershop. All of these businesses set the stage that has made Costa Mesa the economic and social hub it is today. It's an eclectic mix of, of businesses that this was also the first business area of Costa Mesa, even before it was Costa Mesa. So to me, the most unique thing is to be walking along, look down at the sidewalk, see these markers, and see what businesses used to be here. Um, 
back when the city was just beginning. Today, Old Town Costa Mesa continues to host a bevy of shops. Grocery markets have since modernized and shifted to larger plots, but the vintage layout of the area still serves as a perfect home for specialty shops. Goat Hill Tavern, an Old Town mainstay, has kept its taps pouring since 1968. The locale itself has expanded over the years, with bustling entertainment center The Triangle across Newport Boulevard attracting old and new generations of visitors to the area. Costa Mesa's Historical Preservation Committee plans on installing more markers throughout the city in future projects. An exciting testament to the city's rich and vibrant history. The markers are simple in design, yet the stories behind them reveal an intricate tapestry that is known as Costa Mesa. Hopefully people would look down and see these markers and go, oh, what's this? and maybe look into it a little bit, find out a little bit more about what the city was when it began and how far we've come since then. Sweet. 